Well, it's a summer filled with concerts uh, here in the Detroit area, and one of the upcoming stars hitting the stage in Metro Detroit will be country superstar Darius Rucker. Now, his opening act on tour with him is a band called Drew Holcomb and the Neighborhoods. Take a look. You gotta find your people, the ones that get the joke, who understand what you're saying for a word is spoke. You gotta find your people. Put the needle in the groove When you're together You got nothing to prove When you're together You got nothing to lose Well, I got a chance to catch up with Drew Holcomb before he takes the stage this week. Take a look. Drew Holcomb, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us on Live in the D. We appreciate it. Yeah, glad to be on. Thanks for having me. Certainly. So first, tell us a little bit more about your music. Yeah, I mean, I um, grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, um, moved all across the state, went to school in Knoxville, ended up marrying a Nashville girl and uh, started my band when I went back to Memphis after college for a couple of years. But yeah, I'm just a, I always say like, you know, it's kind of singer, songwriter, rock and roll. It's uh, my influences are folks like Tom Petty and James Taylor and but they're songs from my life and the world. And uh, we, we write all our own music. I've been playing with the same guys for almost 20 years and we kind of slowly but surely built up a really nice career um kind of independently and on and, and doing it our own way and just really grateful to make music and travel around the country doing what we love nice and what kind of impact do you want your music to have i think i think music at its best builds community you know it's sort of a it's a it's a drug to fight loneliness is what i always say you know music is this beautiful thing that brings people together it uh soundtracks our lives and so that's that's what I want my music to do is to soundtrack the sort of important moments in people's lives and listen to it while, whether they're you know singing dancing in the kitchen with their family or or uh, you know thinking about somebody they love they hadn't seen in a long time. I mean, it's sort of music runs that emotional landscape, and I just love being a part of that. Yeah, most definitely. Now you're on tour with Darius Rucker, and you're his opening act. How's that been? It's been great. I mean, I. I We've been on the road for a lot of years, a tour with a lot of people, and I think his band and crew are the most hospitable people we've ever been on the road with. They're just, they're veterans. They love what they do. They're a great band. Um, their their fans are awesome. Uh, he's got, you know, so many songs that everybody knows. And, and uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an honor and a thrill. And anytime you can put your music in front of a bunch of people who may not know who you are and may not know your band, it's really fun and, and it's an honor. And uh, we've, we've been really enjoying it. Yeah, well, is that what you would say that you love about being on tour, just getting to connect with new people and teach them about your music? Yeah, absolutely. Especially opening, because that's sort of the that's the the challenge and the surprise every day is there's all these folks, a lot of them who don't have never heard you play before. And so you get in, get to, you know, do your best to introduce them to your music and to have a good time. And um, I always joke sort of at the end of our set, you know, hey, I, we're Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors, and I hope you liked it. Now, if you didn't like it, we'll probably never see you again, so I hope you have a great life. Um, but if you did like it, you know, come back around the next time we come through town or go follow our music on Spotify or whatever. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I have a lighthearted approach to it after all these years. You know, if people like it, that's great. If it's not their thing, that's okay, too, but it is fun. to The challenge of playing for a new audience is, is great. Yeah, absolutely. Give them a nice introduction, and that's for sure. So have you ever been to Detroit before? Oh, many times. Yeah, I have family in Detroit. My my mom's brother moved to Detroit way before I was born, and he's been there ever since. So I have cousins in the area. We've played there a number of times over the years, and I love Detroit. I think it's, it's kind of like Memphis. I think it's kind of an underrated city. It, you know, it gets, get, gets a hard time sometimes in the national media, and I think Detroit's great. I love it there. Yeah, awesome. So are you planning to do anything special or anything specific while you're here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to spend some time with my family. You know, nice. they usually take me out somewhere, eat some, eat some food somewhere new. Um, Darius likes to play golf, so we may get up early that morning, go play some golf. You never know. Um, but yeah, I mean, always, always love to find new things whenever I'm in a city. Very cool. Very cool. Now, you also play a lot of music with your wife. Why is that special and important to you? Well, it's, it's really special to me because it's kind of how our friendship was built. When we were in college, we were both that's sort of singers and songwriters and guitar players. And so that's how we connected over our love of music. And, and, and um, yeah, it's really how I think I convinced her to, to, to date me was I started writing songs for her. So it was a classic, uh, she was not interested. And then I started, 
you know, putting the putting pen to paper and music and it sort of turned the tide. So uh it's a pretty pretty big part of our story. That's a great sound, you know, that that's a great sounding love story, that's for sure. You didn't know, but I showed you how much you love me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I knew she just didn't know yet, you know. I like it. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Looking, looking forward to being in your great city. Thank you. Thank